Uh, well, it, it, our story is, is that we have been through a lot in the past almost eight years now, Tamara. We, I've been a speaker and a coach for many, many years on vision. And uh, at that point, about eight years ago, Laurel was just coming out of, well, she was starting her junior year of college and my son was about 26 years old. And that summer, unfortunately, we lost my husband to suicide. And then three years later, we lost my son at 26, also to suicide. So Laurel at that point um, was starting her life. And we decided a year later after my son died, that was time where we were time for us to share our story and time for us to co-author our book, Keep Looking Up. And it's that is the reason that you had just mentioned we are so passionate now more than ever about people having a vision for their life, knowing they matter and connecting to their purpose. So a lot of times Laurel and I speak together like this on podcasts, and sometimes we speak separately, just depending on the audience. And she started her career in speaking and coaching as well. It's really incredible. Laurel, you want to add anything to that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think what's interesting, and we'll probably talk about this later on too, is that uh, it's kind of come to fruition in a different way than what we, ex we expected. You know, I watched my mom coaching a lot of entrepreneurs on vision when it came to their business, which is super important. But then once we went through these adversities and we started seeing how that vision played such a huge part in getting us through that and helping us find joy again, we started seeing how it was kind of shifting in a really cool way of what my mom had already been teaching and then me coming into play with it as well. And we, you know, after we launched our book, I honestly didn't really expect to kind of go further into it as a career. And so we kind of put the book out there and, you know, just let God take it from there. And it started organically happening. But what's really cool for both of us is that the nut, the overall purpose and, you know, core values of both of our visions have come to light such so much more over the years, but the path to getting there has not been what we expected. So mm -hmm. it's kind of created that flexibility and the faith while you're pursuing what you see your life to look like. Mm, wow. That's a story. Like knowing that just that chunk right there. I mean, you could end the, the podcast and people need to reflect in that moment is, is that recognition. And I was watching a, a reel of a, of a good friend, Kyra Carter. And uh, she was saying that like in a prayer, right? Like we pray for God and we're like, God, like this is what I'm really looking for in my life. And this is how I would like it to happen. Mm -hmm. Right. We pray for him to answer the prayer in the way that we think God should answer the prayer. And for life to unfold in the way that we want it to unfold. God, bring me a husband right now in this season. God, bring mm -hmm. me a boy instead of a girl or like all of the little prayers that are so silly when you think about them in hindsight and even more so in this specific scenario because we yeah. never want to make light of a lost loved one mm -hmm. and we never want to make light of a conversation around grief of suicide. Um, but I would love for us to just understand that God's going to use you. He's going to use your story and he's going to use it in such a magnificent way. And the adversity, the hardship, the trial, the tribulation is likely going to be the place of triumph that you stand when you pursue him on the other side of it. Right. So I'd love for you guys to talk about what that like experience was like um, and how you pursued your faith in the process even still. 